Hello, Nuggles and the Frenchels. It's Donald. Welcome back to my kitchen. It's been a while, guys. Come back. And today, I will be serving you a card I've never done before. On the channel, at least. So this is the Shining Legends Evil Toll that came back in November. And the reason we never touched it, because, uh, this looks like it's you know, not that great. Then I took a look at it again. It's like, wait a minute. If you gave it a Fighting Fury Belt, man, it would have some pretty nice stats. Almost GX level. Oh, wait a minute, what's that attack? 90? Oh, yeah, you can you boost that up. 90 to 100 with the belt, 110 with the new Devoured Field Stadium. Oh, then you can get two shots of GX Pokemon. It's only worth one prize card, and you get extra energies. He might not be so bad, and I also saw something else. It's that it's compatible with Acerola. You can indefinitely, well, as long as you have Acerola, keep flipping them. Undo his damage, keep this card alive for almost smoke. As long as you got the trainer, just like Zorar. Oh, so you might not be so bad. We're going to have some fun with you today. So I want to explain to you in a little bit more detail how this works. And you're going to see it in three. Three what? Three some kind of matches. I think the word's awesome. Yeah, we know that. They're all awesome matches. So let us get started. Today's intro is Save Tonight from Eagle Eye Cherry. All right, now let's uh, let go into you a little bit more detail though. Here we go. Let's break it down. Evil Tall, you are the legendary bird of the XY series. The Y bird. You can see the Y very clearly here. 120 hit points, which is equal to Banana Masters. Like, does that mean I'm legendary too? Yeah, you are. In my books, you're legendary, but he's really, really legendary. But he still has 120 hit points just as a Banana Master, which we said with the trainer. As long as he's wearing this very stylish cape. Can you imagine that? Yeah, 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 he's wearing this. He gets 40 more hit points and 10 more damage. Which means he has 160, which means this is almost borderline a GX level. He pretty much is a GX level Pokemon after that. Alright, so he is now very tanky. What else? First attack, Strafe. Can use some double colors energy. That's very fast. You can attack on your first turn. 30 damage. And he runs away from battle. I mean, he can run away from battle. He doesn't have to. I mean, if he wants to stay up front, sure. But you can switch him right after you attack. What is the point of this? Well, I'll take a look here. Uh, you want to go up front? No, I don't think so. You want to go up front? Eh, yeah, sure, but you know, you, I, I, I get you free stuff, Barry Master says. What are you doing? Don't send me up front. You want to go up front? No. I said, like, you don't send your babies up front. Oh, uh, where is this? How does this actually help? Okay, maybe you just want the 30 damage. And if you want to, uh, let's say there's big damage coming. And you need to save this card. Okay, you straight send out another evil tall that has no energies on it. Sacrifice a guy that's not ready. So, you know, they were like, we understand. We have to support him. You know, the, you may win, lose the war, but you win the war or the battle. You win the war. There we go. So you can do that. Very situational. So just strafe if you really want to keep this card. Run away. Next up, final attack. Oblivion Wing is signature boo. And it does a very nice amount of damage. I can't explain to you before. With all the extra help from trainers, you can't get a two shot on GXs. It helps you by getting an extra energy for your discard. So, I think, let's see. The combo is that if I destroy an energy through Zorar, through Berry Master, I get two more cards, and this always guarantees that I'll get extra energy from this. And if I happen to want to use Acerola, then I can keep juggling the Zorar, or, or Evil Tall, both Pokemons actually. So, we can do that. And I'm risking very little with this. It's just one prize card. Yeah, if I lose this, that's two prize cards and I lose my ability to trade. So, here we go. You are very um, you know, low-risk Pokemon. So, that's why uh, that's one of the beautiful things today. All right, that is the main combo. The rest is just part of my trainer system. So, the biggest thing, yeah, that's the biggest section. Card draws is what we have left, as well as you know, ways to pull Pokemon. This is the standard deck engine. We're going to try something new in the future decks, but for now, this is it. I'm done explaining. Let's see, you know, how this works. The first match is going to show you what I really want, you know, this deck to do. And then, you know, we're going to get some uh, bigger, tougher matches towards the middle and the end matches. So, uh, I'll leave with that. Okay, so now, let's get started. Another evil, tall match from Crimson Invasion. Alright, I'm going to play my remix of Crossing Field from Sword Art Online. So, Dragon! Wow, we're actually both using the same stadium. How interesting is that? So, he may... He's played how? But he may get the rare candy combo up. I'm kind of a little scared of that. So let's go ahead 
We have two Zora arcs. I think I need the Evil Tall combo. You need two to do the combo. We found that out. So let's get those out there. And the Pokemon that's going to charge up is, of course, Evil Tall. That is all I can do. Next turn, I have all the cards in my hand to do what I need. So this is good. So Choice Band, Jang Moo. Uh, this might hit a little too hard for me to survive one hit. So I'm definitely going to need the Fighting Fear Belt to pull it out. You don't need this for your Pokemon. You hit so hard already. All right, so Wally. That means that we're not going to see the big commode just yet. That's a good thing. So Jang Moo, you have 90 hit points. That gives me one more chance to get the KO if... Actually, if you hit me, I am definitely will ace a roll and finish this off right here. You didn't hit me because you didn't have the right energies. All right, so in that case... We're going to evolve you right now. I'm going to go make sure that there's a darkness energy in my discard. I might pull a retreat. No, but I did pull a DC. That's good. That's good. So here we go. We're going to get Evil Toe up. I'm going to hope for a Float Stone. By the way, let's take away your Choice Man and your Stadium so I can play my Stadium Man in case I pull it. Yeah, I'll be able to do something with that. So here we go. Pulling. Did we get did we get what we retreat? Not this time. Man, a lot of DCs. That's good. That's good. So I'm gonna save this. Alright. That was my turn right there. I'm gonna save this. I could have evolved the front one and finished it off too. No, I wouldn't have enough damage. I'll end it, but I'm a little scared. I'm pretty sure that the big guy is gonna come out pretty next turn. Yeah, and then we're gonna be in trouble. Of course we are. So charging up the back one! Oh, looks like that end didn't get land on the right stuff. Choice, man. 20 more damage. I'm sorry, 30 more damage against GX, but right now there's no uh, nothing else here. Okay. Uh, Zool's List plays Rare Candy and Espeon, says uh, John Way. Huh. Okay. Crossing Field is so nice. Let's do sometimes to Scott now. Lose a mean. Gonna get the stadium as well as... Well, you can't play those right now. He, well, he can play the stadium. He can play the stadium. He could have put the energy here, but I probably doesn't trust. Yeah, it's like, well, I see somebody has 90 damage. If he retreats that, I'm in trouble. Which I can't right now. Ultra Ball. Oh, it's gonna actually evolve into the baby Komoo. And I have actually less bench space than him, so he'll do 120 and take out my baby. You killed my baby. Okay. Well. I actually couldn't even pull this off when I would try to ever play this. So, right? So we definitely will get KO'd if we don't have this right here. And wow. He does 170. He would actually KO a Coco to Master if he pulled it out. That's kind of scary. So let's go ahead and play. Uh, keep on playing. Um, I want to charge this guy up. I actually have everything I want in my hand. So you know what? I'm going to keep playing. Everything I want is in my hand already. This is already a good hand. We, uh, we're we just going to use Oblivion Wing right now. With that bonus damage, I do 110, baby. And we're going to charge up Evil Tall. And the next move, I will use Acerola and, you know, perform the combo. But I can still make sure I draw, uh, have... You know, I want to save this for Acerola to, to get her back, but... Yeah, we'll see. Playing the end for me? Oh, great. Mm. Sure, sure, sure. I'll take more cards. I have five cards in my hand. Now I have six cards. The seventh. Ooh, Acerola's not here, but we can Ultra Ball and Fisher out. And perform the combo. Yeah, right now, he still has less bench space. He's pulling it off! 130! So, finally, we get to do this. We don't need the Devoured Field. We definitely need more energies in the discard, and we're going to use Acerola. Coconut Master, Acerola, you're here. Perfect. And then maybe in the future turn, I'll be able to lose them, uh, them back. So, this is the combo I'm looking for, guys. Acerola! Undo the damage! Here we go. Take this up. Whee! Throw you down! And he's like, no, oh, I'm not gonna allow this fight. I'm not gonna allow this fight. Yeah, yeah. His setup is a little... My setup is a little bit more... Uh, I know I'll be able to fight to the end, but... Okay, so, that, that kind of worked. We had an easy opponent at that time. Moving on, moving on. Oh, welcome to a rematch between today's uh, winner, uh, Jay Dunn. So, let us get started. I'm going to play my remix of Late Kingdom from Super Mario Odyssey. 
That was a pretty good level. It's my, almost my favorite level. I need to do a remix of my favorite level, which is Cascade Kingdom. So moving on. Focusing back on the match. Let's see what's going on here. Maggie on the front. Oh, I have, the, I have nothing except a DCE. Okay, so I don't really need to play anything else. He may open up with an N or something, so I'll just drop down to the stadium so we don't pull that, you know, have that issue. Maggie, and I'm gonna do 40 damage. If he had placed an energy, I would definitely Guzma and finish one of these babies off. So uh, that's, that's still possible next turn. But we, uh, we're brick today. Rare candy first. First one is up, Metagross. Uh oh. Well, we, I didn't see a draw supporter for either of us, so we're both stuck here. All right, so uh, let's see. This is, allows me to get a KO, and it gets me for anything from the prize guards. What am I afraid of? Am I afraid of the Sogaleo, or am I more afraid of more Metagrosses? You know, more Metagrosses mean more energy, so I will pull that out. I have nothing else out, and that's that. We're going to use Energy Drive. Weakness resistance doesn't apply, but I, luckily with Town Map, you know, I don't want to have him give him a draw with N. This is just me being, well, a little scared that there's a Metagross up front. And it's going to show up right now. So, I did not pull an N. He could end. He could Sycamore. We'll both have Sycamore in the next move. Top decks. Can I top deck it? Fuel blower. Take away the stadiums. God, I got nothing. I'll just do that. All right. Well, Evil Tall's front. Good. Oh, we need to play something else. We need to play a draw. I know my I know my coconut master isn't right there, so uh, let's see. What can I afford to give up right now? I can afford the field blower, I think. The float stone I may need. We'll go ahead and throw the evil toe off too. I could play sycamore, so I can get energies and a lot more stuff, or I could play this. Well, I'm gonna need this card right now, but let's see, is Bridget here? Yeah, Bridget and Coconut Master is here, right? Yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> yep, that's what we can do. Play this. Now, what would you choose, Don? Would you play Sycamore or you play Bridget? If I play Bridget, I can still get a little bit extra and fill up my bench at the same time. So, and Bridget's gonna be a dead draw later, so I'm gonna be greedy, okay? I'm gonna go with Bridget. Yep. Here we go, Bridget. We are gonna go for Banana Masters necessary. This is my core, and I need Absorua, so pretty much one of everything. And the Floatstone uh, may retreat with this, or may just keep on fighting with this. Floatstone, let's go ahead and put it onto one of these guys, or this guy. Ah, it's a choice decisions. Let's put it on you. I get still two more card pulls too. DCE, ooh, ooh, you feel a bit bench space? Uh, I want to fight with Evil till next, so I get more energies, and he's, you know, he's, he's cool. Or I could just go for a lot of damage. This is a tough decision. It's a tough decision. I'll go with this. Devour field, we're just gonna hold on to it. We're gonna use energy drive. Straight 60 damage, but I know there are some max potions coming along my way. It's like, please just let me top deck a draw stuff. I didn't top deck a draw stuff. I just got the KO and then got something here. Goosebump! You know, buy some time. Oh, well, good thing this one's here. We have infinite really free retreat. So, we are just, He is stuck once again. All right, in that case, we will, you know, have to keep on playing. Fighting Fury Belt. Hey, man, you're loaded up. You got the energies. You're going to fight. We're going to throw everything out. Banana Master, I love you, man. So, I'm going to... Thank you for this. And I feel... If I was if I was nice, I would play N right now. I'm not sure I want to be nice. I'm kind of scared. Uh, is there anything that would help me right now? Did I pull an energy? I don't think I pulled an energy this turn. Here we go. Here's another. Here, here, here. Here's help. There is a little bit of help for me. Hard face. Yep. Now at least I have an energy. Now I'm gonna retreat. I don't have a retreat because I already retreated. Put that energy right here. Play this. We're gonna use energy drive. We actually got good value at that end there. So do not complain. We can still use Banana Master and N and retreat for Evil Toll combo. So hopefully he does not remove you know Fury Belts. That's critical. This is why I uh, well I have Parallel City to help compete with that, because you know we may not want 
You may want the... You may... It's, it's dangerous. It's like, it's like, I have to take it off. Kind of deal. There. Mass Pika. It says Kylo Brody. I'm not paying attention. Is the Mass Pikachu. I have not seen the Mass Pikachu. Is there a Mass Pikachu here? Might be there. But, Banana Master, you've done once again. High five, buddy. It's like, okay. I've been feeding you bananas. What have you done for me? Did you get me anything for Christmas? No, I don't. Ooh, gonna play Guzma Algorithm GX. Use that to retreat, but he gets any cards he wants. Any five cards. All right. That's kind of dangerous. You want to play, definitely want to play N because all these are going to get rare candy and involved up. So, we're going to have to do something here. So he knows I have free retreat indefinitely with Zoroark. I, probably a max potion is going to come down too. We do have Acerola. We're going to get this up right now. I'll pull an extra card because I may not have a chance to do it after I use Zoroark. I'm not going to play this energy yet because I'm going to want to discard this. There we go. But actually, if we stick more, we get to discard as well. He filled up his bench space, but I don't do enough damage right now. Let's do it this way. Let's go ahead and discard all these cards right now. I'm going to lose Acerola, unfortunately. There we go. I already have an energy in the discard. That means I can get too easily up. Let's go ahead and retreat. This is a pretty good hand. We don't have an end. Well, we do have an end. We just uh, have to give it to him. So he's good. He's good to go. Let's use Oblivion Wing. Oblivion Wing. 70. I know he pulled a max potion there. And you know who needs an energy right now? Oh, man. I'm going to go with you. I'm going to go with you. There we go. We have two, uh, at least two more uh, Acerolas up. We don't have to lose me this time. Alright, so I'm going to have to let it be. Focusing batch. Just checking chat right now. Okay. Prepare for a rain of rare candies and max potion. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What I'm afraid of is the two removal right now. Because if you take away my Fury Belts, I'm going to be pretty hard, easy to KO. Double rare candies, all the Metagrosses are up. It's like, yeah. Oh, no, Sogaleo's actually up too. So we can start seeing one-shot KOs from spams from Sogaleo. Woo! This is the exact opposite. Yeah, Algorithm is so strong when you can't end him. And we could not end him. And following up with a Skyla for another, for a Max Potion heals it up. And there are two of them right now. So with the energy, yeah, you can actually... Get a one-shot with this. Oh, we do not have any ability locks. Um, we have to start shutting down threats. I can copy any of his GXs, which can give me 150 damage. He had 190 about last time, so still scary. Let's see what we can do. No, uh, Ultra Rel. It looks like somebody's going to switch in. Probably no. He has energies, doesn't he? No, he has one energy, but not enough to not enough to get this thing going. Alright, so if you pull more Pokemons out, it's gonna be something to evolve the Beldum. So we do have Guzma. Yeah, okay. Could go ahead and take a prize guard right now. So here's what I'm gonna do. I need some more cards. I'm gonna trade off the Nest Ball because it's junk to me right there. I gotta hurry. He has a full bench. I need to go for the threats. You know, we have to finish this off eventually. I'm gonna pull it out right now. Where is some, somebody with a free retreat off? I don't have another d darkness energy in my discard, unfortunately. You're gonna eventually need this. I'm not gonna fight with you. So we're going to retreat. We have nothing else we can play. We don't have any extra bonus dark energies to take. So I am could use Strafe. No, I'm going to just use Oblivion Wing. It has to be finished one way or another. Nope, there are no energies. And I now, thanks to the town map, I get to choose my cards. There's the energy I need. And there's an Ace Arola. Yeah, assuming that you live. So now three prize guards. We need to finish off AGX Pokemons as well as uh, something else. Maybe this guy right here. 
Yeah. Yeah. So, it's still scary because soon he will be able to spam Sogaleo's one shot. And with max potions, it could get ugly. It could get really, really, really ugly right now. So, I'm even though I'm in the hand in prize cards, I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of scared. Speaking of Volcanion right now, it's going to be Sycamore. Now, he has... He's going to evolve this first because I know you pulled it with uh, Vulpix. And then the KO. It's slow, but expected. No, he discarded it. He didn't want to evolve it. Maybe he was just like, oh, I straight need to use Red Candy. There we go. This thing is charging up. He has two energies in the discard, I believe. One energy in discard. I'm wrong. So if you can discard another one, good. Fight and Fury Belt, that's the card I need to stay alive against that. But against this, nothing survives. That is 230. So Galil's gonna come out. We're just gonna hope that he does not max potion. He already used one. He already used one. We're close to winning, but if he can, you know, just claw his way to victory. Ultra Road! Gonna send the Metagross out because it's tanky. Alright, that's it! Well... I need my stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and trade because I get a free energy off my evil tall. Alright, I don't know where my cards are, but my... My Guzma's... Okay, two of Guzma's been used up. It's not in my prize score. It's definitely in my deck. Let me think. I'm gonna be super aggressive, okay? Because at this point, I don't need to hold onto these cards. This is gonna kill me. So here's my aggressive move. Goodbye everything. Goodbye everything. Okay. He's got a full bench. I can do up to 160. I'm gonna go ahead and use Oblivion Wing again. 100 damage. We also get that bonus energy, which is so nice. Who's gonna get it out? We're gonna... Get, maybe we should get a really powerful... No, uh, you know, with Sogaleo. It's really tough to, tough to see what I want with Sogaleo. I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna leave it be. He might just dunk my Lele or something. I don't trust that. I don't trust that. So, 100 damage? Yeah! Now he can... St we only have one, unfortunately. This is the last one. This is gonna threaten me. Sycamore. He's... St wow. Tw it's gonna start pretty soon. No weakness for fire and metal Pokemon as long as the stadium is up. He's ready. He's ready at this point. I've discarded enough energies. He's gonna dunk the <laughs> the evil tall. That's okay. We just gotta be careful with about the max potions. So I may end. I may not end. Or I may Guzma this out, and we just have to worry. I mean, we're gonna have to Guzma it anyways, right? Oh, we have to save the Guzma for now. So sudden steel strike. There it goes. He loses all energies, which is why I didn't really want Coconut Master. But I can sudden steel strike him back, couldn't I? Yeah, but you don't have enough damage. It doesn't do enough. It doesn't do enough yet. There's a lot of cards in his hands right now. He doesn't have any extra draws. I'll play this right here. We're gonna go ahead and super rod some stuff. No, I don't need to super rod anything. Yeah, I do. I don't need to super rod right now. The problem is that I don't have another Guzma that I can... I think I'm gonna have the Guzma eventually, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. Who can finish this off? Somebody with 150 damage. Okay. This is all I can do for now, guys. Pull this right here. We're gonna choose Mind Jack. Finish this off. It has to be done at some point. I'm gonna go ahead and take that prize card as well as an N because N, hey man, that was a big hand. We've all, we've got a big lead so far because you know it took a while to set up. So one more prize card, but there is a lot of defense that you can do. I have no more Guzmas. I have no more Guzmas, so be very careful. Very, very careful. Got an energy? He's gonna spam another one hit KO. And this is the deadly gun. This is a deadly one. Alright, 
Look at all that HP. It's just 250. Gonna send the Metagross out, though. Or we're just doing it for fun. Alright, looks like you couldn't get another energy up. Okay. Well, you know what? We do need to play the Super Odd. We need to do this. Oh, I need to get something else out. So, Evil Tall, you can go ahead and come back. I know this is your show, the Evil Tall, but, uh... You know, sometimes that's how it works. So, I have nothing else I can do. I'm gonna go ahead and play N. How about that? No, I like to keep my cards in my hands. Yeah! Keep them where I can use them! 130 damage right there. And, because, yeah, he can, he can still juggle a little bit more. Didn't see any max potions. I think some got discarded. One, no, they're still there. They're somewhere. They are somewhere. And these, these are just baby Pokemons. He has to, you know, pull Guzma. Maybe I should have end. Maybe I didn't really think about there was a Guzma coming. Max potions it up. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, we know that that was coming. If I end, <laughs> still five, three, three. Sell that. Maybe he wants to Guzma, or he just takes the baby Zorark. Either way, we're good. Sun Steel Strike. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, I don't have a Guzma myself. I have to, you know, I have to straight on attack this stuff. Ugh. There's no, there's no room. There is no room. Okay. Here we go. Let me load up my Mallow. Look, because I need energy and my dark stuff. Yeah. Since I cannot use my Acerola combo right now, I'm gonna go ahead and trade. Hey, Acerola! Yeah, you're not gonna help me. Everything dies one shot to this. Everything. That's a lot of cards in your hands there. I think, uh, well, I'm, I can't do anything about that right now. We're gonna use Energy Drive. There we go. 170 damage. So now, there probably is another Max Potion. We are definitely gonna end and hope things... Well... Maybe... Well... Yeah... Didn't I, why couldn't I end? Did I play something? Uh, I played Mallow, that's right. Oh yeah, you played Mallow. You didn't... That was risky. Choice Man. Wouldn't the Choice Man help so much, man? It would, but I'm building the deck around Evil Tall right there. So, another energy. One, uh, there's only one Metagross? Oh yeah, we took it down. That's what's stopping him. Ultra Row, gotta hide in the back. Okay. So at this point, I'm gonna... That's, that's good. You're my backup attacker, buddy. Actually, you could be my backup attacker. We are gonna end now. We're gonna shrink his hand up. Hopefully he doesn't give another max potion up there. Alright, and... Uh, you could be on the bench. No, you would hurt me on the bench. You have big high retreat. We're gonna use energy drive. Take this. All right. Trying to finish the game, but we cannot. It is tanky. It is so 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 tanky. Not enough damage. I know. Choice man. Then it would be an evil tall. It would be a Zorark deck, and we can get to see evil tall. So uh, that's uh, that, that that that's that's the deal. You you see it, right? You see it. You see it. It's. Zorak is just better. I said it. I said it. It's like, well, I did some work, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm trading. I'm only one prize cards. Yeah, yeah. But he needed the Fighting Fury Belt to work that. Max Potion again. I. Uh, that might be that. That's what. Gonna, that's what's gonna seal the deal, man. That's what's gonna seal the deal because I cannot finish it. I don't have the choice, man, to, to go to get it through. Geotex is gonna come actually charge the Metagross up. It says Sogaleo. But he seems to be running low on energies. Ultra Row. And maybe Max Potions, hopefully, too. That's it, my turn again. If I Sycamore, I lose. So I'm not gonna do that. Do I want some extra draws? Well, I suck uh, yeah, why not? We have another end right there, so let's go ahead and trade. Let's go ahead and trade right now. I'll put you for safety reasons. Put this on you. 
that is it right there. I can't, uh, I can pull some extra cards too. I know I have an N. I know it's there. Okay, so I'm kind of scared of decking out right now. So we're not going to play that. We're just going to attack. Weaken that Sogaleo up. He could have sent Lele or something. He still can send the Lele. I think I've been smart to sell the Lele. I think. I think. Uh, he's definitely got enough energies in the discard. Holla! Woo! You GXO! Oh, yeah, that Max Potion. He's like, I gotta find the Max Potion. Stop running. Oh, that's three Max Potions so far. The energies are in the discard. It's being charged up to the Lele. So Lele can actually fight. And this is where it's gonna be GG. This should not show up. Alright, so that's gonna be the move. I still hold my GX attack. I'm gonna use Sogaleo's GX to finish it off. Finally, he ran out of Max Potions. And we can finish the game right here. But... Evil Dell's like, hey man, I did my job. I weakened them up. I have only one prize cards. <laughs> only two prize cards for Pokemon's taken so far. So it's like, I guess it's a nice starter. That is that. That is game. So I'm going to go ahead and retreat. GG. Oh, uh, oh, you know, hang on, hang on. Yeah, take that to retreat. Smile face. And we are going to go ahead and use Trickster GX. Where is that move? Sudden Steel Strike. Finally. So, each, this, by taking out one of the Metagrosses, we could slow them down with the energy counts. There it is. Good game, Jay Dunn. MVP is Coconut Master. Really? All right, Coconut Master, you can have the MVP. Moving on there. Moving on. Good game, Jay Dunn. Congratulations. And that is that. Welcome to another Zorark Evil Toll match. I'm going to play my remix of Silhouette from Naruto. A good time in the Rudo. Down to Baruto. Bruno isn't that strong yet, so he isn't that cool. So, evil. I have long t It's been a long time since I've seen this. But, Leafeon with enough Lorantis will get one shots and is very, very tanky. Yeah, so next turn is looking like that. Uh, this Whatever else up front is going to die, so I'm kind of scared right now. That's okay. Let me go ahead and play this first. I hope that Bridget is not in my prize cards. There we go. Bridge is a nice card to load up. And we're going to try to set up for Evil Tall here. I don't have another draw supporter, so I may save the Ultra Ball for something else. So, Bridget, get uh, get my two Chorus out. Alright, I'm going to have to deal with this next. He has the Stadium. You can go ahead with the Fighting Fury Belt. I'm going to load this up onto you. I'm going to play this so I can get a lot more card draws, okay? I'm going to do this right now. Unfortunately, I can't evolve anything. But I don't want to be, you know, stuck next turn. So I'm going to hold this right here. It should have been for Zoar. Now, if he gets DCE, then I lose this card. I don't trust this, but if I don't... If he happens to live, I do want him to retreat. So it's... Maybe you'll live, maybe you won't. Oh, the stadium. I definitely want to remove the stadium. Here we go. Let's go use two removals. My only one. But I do have other stadium removals here. Good. We removed two things with it. We're done. And I'm going to let it be. Next. All right. We're going to try to use our... Uh, we're going to try to charge up Zorua out here. So, he has a nice big hand. I'm kind of afraid. Energy actually goes into Fomantis. Oh. It looks like he did not have a DC. So, that means Banana Master. It looks like you live. Had he been able to retreat and send this guy out? No, no. Well, you know, I do, I do, I do prefer you alive, Banana Master. You can get the extra card pulls. He evolves. Oh, he has both of them. Laurentis, did he discard any energies? Yes, he did. He's gonna get this charged up. Ooh, this is. I'm feeling the. I'm feeling the pressure here, guys. The pressure is big. I need to draw a darkness energy next. If I do, it's all good, guys. It's totally good. 60 damage. So we don't want to ace a roll of that. I don't think he has a 160 damage that easily. He's charging the back one instead of the front one. But the back one, uh, oh, he's charging both of them. Smart. Oh, right. We, we top deck a Zorark. Yes. So I need some more draws, but I do want to keep this. I do want to keep this, so I'm not going to discard that. And the only way I can do that is play Lily right now. Yeah, Lily, I get five more cards. Please, Lily, you need to get me one darkness energy. If not, then we'll be a little behind. Bingo! Thank you very much, Lily. And we can also discard stuff. 
So, the main star of the video today, Evil Tall, go ahead and come out. And you're gonna charge somebody in the meantime. Now, I can play Zoar to draw, but I don't need to right now. Because everything here is so valuable right now that I can't. Everything is so, so valuable. You can actually get two Zora Arcs, too. But I'm really... We'll see you next. I'll save. I'll save. Let's use Oblivion Wing. Get almost a two-shot with this. And the next energy is going to go onto the guy who's about to fight. Let's actually load it on. Yeah, let's load on this guy. Maybe use my GX attack somewhere along the road to take him out. Although I can't GX anything because it's all based on grass, so... We'll see. Oh, okay. This comes out and gets three energies. Okay, so, so, so. By the way, I'm going to draw a check to Twitch chat here. I watched YouTube and there was something. No, it doesn't have a chat anymore. Yeah, I was thinking, you know, I'm getting videos to monetize left and right. Maybe chat does something? It hasn't been helping, so we'll see if we put it back in the future or not. All right, so I have two attackers ready to go. Megalovania, zombie lovers, don't... Holy cow. That is the biggest donation I ever had. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year's, Donald. Astros and three. Zombie lover 17. Wow. That is big. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, man. You've made my... This is a moment in history. <laughs> thank you, thank you, zombie. Thank you very much. Yes, thanks. All right. Oh, I gotta get back to the game, man. Oh, oh, focus. What's happening? What's happening here? He's playing in. Okay, so all the nice stuff I had in my hand gets uh, flipped away. What's, what's going on here? Thank you, zombie. Thank you, man. I do get a Sorola. Perfect. Is he gonna GX this? Oh, he could. But if he GX the baby evil doll, that is only one prize card. It's like, maybe I should save this. Yeah, maybe you should. I would save that too. And this time, let's see what else he does. There's only one 20 damage bonus, so we gotta take a ban. Take note of that right there. And if there was another space where Evil Tall, I throw it down. Solar Blade. I am alive. I'm kicking, and he's healed up a little bit there. Oh, 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 oh. So what do we do? There's nothing I can copy. Let's see. Is there anything I can GX 450? I don't see it. But I am gonna, this is a very nice time to use Acerola. Very, very nice time. 150. Let me send the guy with the free retreat out. So I'm gonna retreat him after this. Send this down again. I kinda want to attack. So let's go ahead and send this guy out. Put the belt back in. And now, now we can start trying to set other cards up right here. So I'm gonna throw away my Shana. And throw away the DCE. Oh, we actually have a we actually have baby one. I, oh, the baby one could have finished him off. It's too late for that. But I'm definitely gonna make sure that's not gonna that's gonna be available for next time. There we go. Put this right here. Now we can trade, but I kinda really like my hand right now, so. Oh, you're not gonna getting as much value as I thought. Free retreat. We can do 150. We can try to find another Acerola. And we can just retreat next turn. Yeah, it would have been better move to sink the ship right here and trade this off. I didn't realize. I didn't realize. I didn't just see that. I was still too busy talking and busy th thinking, thanking Stumpy in my head. So, what do I do? I can copy Chlorosite. That's not enough. So I know I have to retreat. I can copy 100 damage from Energy Drive, but that's not enough. I don't have that many Grass Pokemons. Flower Supply. I can actually get more two basic energies if I GX that, but there's not two basic energies here. So we're just going to use Riotous Beating right here. We don't have anything else. Riotous Beating. Weaken this significantly, and let it be. Now next turn, we'll see. We'll just have to see. So checking back in Twitch chat. Now I got to get back to work. Oh, later, Donald Senpai. Thank you very much, Zombie. Good luck at work, man. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's so many things rumors with the demonetization of Satoshi. Oh! Oh, he put in another energy on for a Chlorocyte. Like, this is worth it to GX this. All right. Okay, so let me see. What is this right here? 120. That has enough to KO me. He took away the Fighting Fury belt. Nobody has a free retreat right now. Let's see. His damage potential. I'm checking it's 170. So he's going to be able to one-shot a lot of Pokemons right now. I'm going to send this guy up. I'm going to send this guy up. And there's no choice of what I have right now. Let's put this up right here. Let's go ahead and play Sycamore. I want to save this for later because it hits pretty hard. So right now, this stadium is up. Oh, there's no way to remove that, is there? There's not. This might just live another turn. So this actually has 150. My strafe isn't going to do enough. But I'm going to do it anyways, okay? Strafe, I have to give up Banana Master. Wait, wait. Oh, he's an Evolve Pokemon. Yay! Yay! Okay, I did not for totally forgot about that. So, what do I need here? What do I need here? I actually need a Dark Energy. So let's go, let's see. I'm going to use the f Fighting Fury Belt. Super odd. I actually need a lot of things from there. But that's okay. We're going to leave it be right now. Oh, I forgot about that. Woo! Only works on basic Pokemon. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, sending out the Lorontis. This Lorontis is of a free retreat, but he probably has something that, that does have a free retreat. Or maybe he doesn't have the energy yet. Because like, I thought it was going to be ready already. Nope, not yet. Okay. So, well, let's see. We can do 160 damage here. So that's still not enough. That's very, very high. All right. So, without the choice, man, he doesn't hit that hard, though. Now, let me see. Without the choice, man, he hits hard enough. All right. He's going to send this out to attack. Uh, coin flip. If heads. It has to be heads. He has to flip heads or get another energy to get a banana master. But it's just one prize card right now. So I'm pretty happy with that. It is Leap Blade. It is heads. Oh, got it. Took a prize guard. If it was tails, thought he less I would have lived. So that sucks for you, banana master. So you're the guy that can attack right now. I really need a dark energy. So you know what? We're going to put this on right here. We are... Uh, there's probably too many Dark Energies in the discard. That's why I didn't pull any right there. So we're going to get a bunch of them back. And focusing what do I have on here. I really want a Dark Energy for Momentum. Or I can just attack straight attack with this. Alright, here we go. I've made my choice. I'm actually going to play Sycamore, so I get more more energies that way. Oh, there are no more Zora Arcs. They're all in the discard. That is lame. So I, well, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and try try to get this evil toe up. You will figure it out later, guys. Okay, so we can definitely take the stadium out and shrink his bench base. There we go. Let's do that. Goodbye. Goodbye now. Let's see. What are you going to throw off? That? Maybe this Leafeon or Banana Master. I'm thinking the Leafeon's gonna go. Okay, and we did get the Dark Energy there, so that's, that's, that's lucky. Okay, that's that. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and attack with the Oblivion Wing. Oblivion Wing. Take that, 100 damage. You don't have that stadium to protect you. I also get bonus energy, and this time, uh, let's see. This is guaranteed. I actually need a DC for both. I'll put it on this guy. I'll put it on this guy instead. So if I attack again, I'm good. I'd rather ace the roller like I said before, but that's okay. Right now, we have 160 hit points. That's pretty tanky. Gonna take up... Oh, he took away my stadium. But that means he does 90 damage now. He has to do something about that. Because if I live, that's worth it. That is worth it. All right, Ace Aurora picks everything back up and also has the Lorantis to charge everything back up again. Lame! Lame! Okay, of course this is very lame. Now, what do we do? Now, I'm gonna be weakened, and yeah, I told you, the Fighting Fury Belt's competing at the stadium, so right now, well, you have one stadium left. If I play N... Well, my hand's pretty much dead right now. I can actually pull out something victim here, probably that, and get a prize card, and then I can get something else. I'm not sure if I want to do that or try to charge up something else here. Let's see, we'll see, we'll see. 
Oh, I got the DCE. In that case... In that case, we could steal prize card, but I'd rather... N I'd rather not. So right now, his damage without a stadium, his damage is kind of low. He's filled up his bench space. I don't know of another darkness energy in my hand right now. My, no, I don't. That's a little lame. Let's see, we retreat. We can retreat, though. And get those darkness energies back. No, I'll keep it. Here's what I'm gonna do, guys. I'll pull this, I'll pull a GX out. Switch it with you. Keep a healthy one up. Now he just needs the stadium to attack. And I'm not gonna give provide that stadium right here. We're gonna use a living wing. Weaken him. This one's not as ready to attack. He's gonna need to pull the DC. I have not seen a DCE yet. I think it's really depending on this to fight. And the retreat cost of this is two right here. So that may be hopefully the better move. He might actually have a DCE. Now this is bad. Two Lurantis is a 40 damage choice, man. Well, uh, I have no VGX attackers now. That's good. That's good right there. Okay. And try to find a final choice, man. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely, we're all we're all waiting at a uh, made of breath, just waiting for the right stuff. How many? Uh, let's see. What's my account? Two Guzmas. That's all the Guzmas I have. I'm gonna have to wait to lose a mean that. Oh man, Lily. All right, choice me out the front. I'm not playing with a GX right now. I still have my GX, but fortunately, I just can't copy any good moves against this guy right here. Two energies, so he gets to use a baby attack. I'll be able to finish this off. No, he retreats. He retreats, so we're gonna have to fi finish that off later. 80 damage. All right, now I'm trying to play Acerola, but they're not in my hand. Yeah. Well, I guess uh, we just have to see what we get now. We got the belt. This one I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm gonna force. Uh, I'm gonna force one of those. One of these big guys off. Yeah. So the Guzma did slow him down. He throws up Banana Master. Let's go with the front guy. The front guy's gonna attack. We're gonna play N right now. Shrink his hand a bit. Hopefully get him a little stuck. Oh, Acerola, when you needed it last time. Okay, so we do get a Darkness Energy. Or a regular Energy. I'm gonna put this on right here. I can't find a way to discard this so I can get a bonus energy. We're gonna go ahead and use a Bleeding Wing. There's no, right now, there's no other energy in the discard, so go, yo, oh, I know that. I know that. Now Acerola is here. Not, that's kinda the last turn. That's how it goes. So we kinda, we'll be able to finish off with maybe discard? No, I actually don't have enough damage. I'm always missing 10 damage, but the Parallel City is nice. So. That's kind of killing me. A hundred. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see what we get. We'll see what we can do. If you can uh, put another bench Pokemon down. That's kind of that's kind a little too lucky there, but. Guzma. Oh. oh. It's like, nope. This one's got the KO. I'm going to send this guy out instead. Sure, sure. Can I finish this off? Well, I couldn't finish that back one, but I couldn't. Wow. I didn't expect that. I did not expect that. Okay, so I said uh, I'm gonna send this guy out right here. <sighs> Something I can do. Uh, I can't think of what I need to do right here. At least I'll get another energy on some Pokemon right now. Next. Now I have too many darkness energies. If I ace Arola, I could. Or I could attack and get another Pokemon charged out. Let's see, can I finish off with this guy? Yeah, I can. And I can have a healthy evil tall later. I can. I will do a hundred damage right now. And he looks like he can't finish that. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play Acer Roller right here. Put you up. Put the fighting fury build up. Uh, let's see. I may be charging. Let's see. This guy has. He's got a lot of hit points. Maybe we can get a lot of energies on this and attack with this instead. So I'm gonna go ahead and load this up. I'm not gonna throw my belt. belt. Yeah, I'll throw my belt down. Here we go. We're gonna use Mind Jack. Finish that off. And we're gonna go for, for big one of these big guys to attack. So let's see. Ultra Ball. There's no draw supporter left. I. 
I'm not sure Acerola is going to be good next turn. But I'll keep it. I better have that. I may want it. There's no way for me to get a draw supporter. I'll take the Evil Tall as well. Ultra Ball. I'll take the Evil Tall. Here we got another Evil Tall. Probably not a good chance. Please pay attention to that! I know there's a guy named Hole Pie. I wonder if he was Full Pie. Is Full Pie is not Hole Pie? He is somebody else. Full Pie is actually Full Pie. He has the same uh, icon there. I don't think Baby Oratol with Baby Zorark is a good idea. No, but it's actually helping out. It's been helping out, so. He's got the uh, Aether Paradise. I know they work against each other, but. The Parallel City is very dangerous, and. I think it's annoying, even though they do that, even though it's kind of worth it. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Okay, so, leave it right there. Now! Let's see what he's got. He's gonna play N, but he has no other draw support. Well, no other ways to pull cards right now, so that's kinda good. This is two energies, but he's like, oh, I don't really wanna fight with this. Yeah, because I'll just, you know, this will get blasted. So, what do we have here? We're just gonna keep on fighting. He's got three energies, but if he sends it out, I win. I think I'm gonna have enough damage. <laughs> yeah! He's like, no! Okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and charge this up. He doesn't have that much bench space. I'm gonna use Mind Jack. 60, 70 damage. <laughs> He's loaded up. I do not have another Guzma. I don't have Losing Mean. So there's no way for me to force it out right now. I went with two Guzma this time. This is gonna uh, be close. It's gonna be close. He used up his GX attack. Nope, gonna have to buy some time. Stuck. All right, we have, oh, wow. Good, good, good. Milo! Milo, what can you get for me? Oh, nothing is nothing's good right now. I'll go get, get a special charge because those DCs in my discard is valuable. Oh my gosh, there are a lot of energies. There's no, oh man, there's nothing left in my deck. I better just pull energies. Yeah, pull these two right now. Okay, that's bad. We're gonna use Mind Jack. We should have put the pull to Zoroa. I think I evolve. Don't think about that. So, all these, all these are so low. He did finally pull an Ultra Ball. And Ultra Ball looks like Coconut Master. Woo! But what is gonna fight? Something has to come out and fight. And I love, fortunately, Luzamin and Guzmas are all, they're all gone. I only have two Guzmas, I said that. So, we are just gonna have to take it as is. Does he have another Guzma, though? He has this, I haven't seen any Guzmas. Play send Coconut Master out. Don't worry, we can jump in. Solar Blade, oh, he had a one shot. Oh, oh, the good finish the game there. He's like, oh, top decked it. Did so much damage from that, the, the, all the damage boost. That was pretty close, that was pretty close. I lost. That was, I'm, but I'm still satisfied, so good. Well, looks like you reached the end. Thank you, congratulations, it is time we rate this deck. So, let's break it down. Unique Trake, what's really special about you, Evil Tall? What's really good? Well, you know, you do a lot of nice things, but overall, you are just one prize card. I think that's the biggest value. You can trade with the biggest guys out there. As long as you don't lose your belt, you can't, you know, it's very difficult to one-shot you. And even if you do go down, you're one prize card. Yet you can do, a, you know, get some good value, get a lot of damage counters before you go down and let somebody fill in. And not only that, you got a lot of nice defense, you know, that you're compatible with. So the best thing is it's one prize trade. And you can fight the long fight. And I think that's good. So we're going to give it a 4.5. It's not the... It's very close to a 5 out of 5 there, so uh, it's good. Oh, damage-wise! We do have a one-shot somewhere. It's right here. And it's also right here. These two have enough to one-shot the GX Pokemon, but this deck isn't meant to chain one-shots. It's not that kind of deck, so we're gonna give it a 4 out of 5. Uh, normally, everything is a two-shot. But sometimes you can pop a one-shot out there if things, the stars line up. Alright, so, uh, set up! Oh, it's easy to set this up. Very, very easy. There's very little evolving. And you just only need one energy card to fight. Pretty much. And it gets you more energies. You're gonna be able to attack. You're not gonna have to worry too much with this deck. So it's a 5 out of 5. Very reliable. Defense! 4.5 out of 5. We might actually give him more. We're running 4 Acerolas. Almost, yeah, all the main attackers are compatible with that. Your opponents, if you can get some value out of that, 
the opponent's gonna have to work for those prize cards. So we'll give you, we actually give you a little bit more. That's not the toughest deck out there, but it definitely does help. So 4.5 out of 5 is there. You should just, what's between 5 and a 4.5? It's really hard for me. I gotta think about that. So, draining. I'm still gonna give it a 4 out of 5, even though there's a lot of nice things about this, because uh, I still think it's better. It's not that, you know, game changing. It worked. It worked. Everything worked out properly, but I did not love it, because I know there's a better way to do it. I would, uh, first of all, uh, let's see, we're gonna, the weaknesses, two removal kind of negates this. Uh, it's still a one prize card. You still win in the end, but he's just not as tanky with that. And there's no, uh, you know, there's no stadium that can help you with that to protect your poker tools. Finally, finally, let me see them upgrades. I think Hoopa is better. I mean, you want to show me, uh, let me show you. We're going to make this deck later. This is going to be a lot better when Hoopa's in here. It's almost the same stats, but GX Pokemons can't hurt this. And it's something I think can really disrupt the current meta right now. So that's going to be what I'm streaming today for you. That's Wednesday. So, okay. That is that. Uh, on YouTube, that is. Unless you catch me during the stream today. So, that is that. Uh, it probably already happened. What else? Upgrades. You definitely need a Choice Man during some of the fights. So I would actually take that out. Put in a Choice Man right there. Yeah, you know what? I could probably put two Choice Mans in there. And then take, uh, take this out. So, there we go. Those are massive improvements. There we go. He's gonna save it. Uh, after this, so that is that. You still the deck Wednesday is the one you want to make. So I'll show you what that is afterwards on Wednesday on YouTube, unless you catch me on Twitch. All right, that is that. What is up for tomorrow? Tomorrow, tomorrow. Don't want to sing. I forgot. Let me check. Oh yeah, it's Pyroar. Pyroar! Hey, you have a one-shot kill, even this meta. We're gonna take you have to use some fun. And we know we're the new Marowak, so it's gonna be a silly deck tomorrow. Alright, Pyro. Yeah, it's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. So, that is up for tomorrow. I would close this, but some of you guys are wondering. Donald, where you been? Okay. Do I have to tell the truth? Can't you just make something up like you're busy, you're kinda sick? Uh, which, you know, just happened today, so I wasn't sick. Basically, after finishing a uh, Xeno, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles, I was, ugh, I was like so torn apart. I didn't, I fell in love with all the characters here. The story was great, and it was over. And I was like, uh, you know, a little mild, mild sadness there. So uh, we, um, we, uh, what I, I really should have streamed it, but we, you know, we played a lot of the post games. Did everything. My characters are maxed out. Can't wait to see a little bit more of the story. You know, that comes under DLC. So uh, that was that. That kind of threw me off. You know. I really, really should have been uh, streaming all that. I kind of regret it. So that's what happened during the week. We took a break from Pokemon. And now we're back with Pokemon. And we have one really killer deck coming. Just wait and see for that. So that is my explanation. I'm back. Next month is uh, all new brand cards. So, you know, got to get back into shape. And try to find as many cool decks until uh, for the remainder of the month. So that is it for now, guys. Time to close this out. Please like, subscribe. Because you know it helps every YouTuber is out. I know you, you know you love me. So I'm on social medias. If I, I'll usually tell you when new deck videos coming out or new streams coming out from there. My chat is on Discord. My Discord link is right above my head. We have a gym challenges, uh, a lot of cool things there. So check it out. Uh, remixes can be found on iTunes and Spotify. If you really like my versions of these, they're on there. So uh, next video is probably what's gonna be tomorrow. I'll make sure of that. I have other secret YouTube channels I work on as well. They're probably in the description. So that's it. I'm j I want to cough, but I can't. No, it's not cool. Thank you very much, Integrals and the Frenchals. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Stay safe. Take it easy. Yeah, that's how it goes.